Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. This tutorial will be inside of Game Maker Studio 2, but you can use Game Maker 1.4 if you wish. Uh, there will only be one spot that we'll need to change, and I'll mention that during the tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a nice little script and working example of nine slicing. So you can see right here, if I click on the screen, it will draw this nice border. This nice text box is maybe what you'd use it for. And it, no matter what the size is, it will continue to draw this correctly with the border around it. And this is called a nine slice because what happens is they divide a sprite into nine slices and then draw those sprites correctly to create this nice border. Let's get started. Create a new project and I'm gonna choose a Game Maker language project and I'm gonna call this nine slice video. Once you've done that you're going to need to create a new sprite and I'm gonna name this s underscore text box. I'm going to import the sprite choose desktop and do s underscore text box importing files sprite not undoable action do you wish to continue yes I do wish to continue now you can use whatever sprite you want I'm going to provide a link to this sprite in the description below so you can download it but your sprite needs to be a multiple of three that's really important that the sprite is a multiple of three because we need to be able to divide this into nine slices and so it needs to be a multiple of three for that. Okay, once your sprite is ready, we're going to create a new script. Right click, create new script. And I'm going to provide this script as well as a link in the description. And that's because it's a really long script. It'll take forever just to sit and type it all out. So I'm gonna provide that script. You can copy and paste it, but I'm also going to talk about what is inside the script so that you know how it works. So click the link in the description, copy that, and then paste it in here, and you should have something that looks like this right here. Okay? It's kind of a big script. Now we're going to name this script, so I'm going to right click, do rename, draw nine slice. Now I'm going to press this right here so I can extend this out a little bit more. And we're going to talk about what's going on inside of this script. So we pass in, you can see we're passing in five parameters. We're passing in a sprite, and then an X position and a Y position, and another X position and a Y position. So this is going to be the sprite that we use for the nine slice. And then we're going to do two points, because our nine slice is going to be a rectangle. And so we're going to do two points, the top left point and then the bottom right point, And that will create our rectangle using those two points. Once we've done that, we get the slice width. So we take the sprite and divide it by three. And that will get us the width of each slice. And then we do the same for the height. Then we make sure that our, that our sprite is a multiple of three. because And then just show a warning if it isn't. So, you know, we're going to allow using sprites that aren't, aren't a multiple of three, but we're going to show a warning because it's going to create kind of visual glitches with the nine slice. If it's not a multiple of three, you're going to have weird stuff going on. We get the width and height of our nine slice by using the X and Y coordinates that we passed in. And we call absolute value on them uh, just to make sure that we don't have a negative width and height. Finally, we use draw sprite part underscore ext to draw each of the nine slices. So you can see there's nine draw calls right here, one for each sprite. So the first one is the top left, then the top middle, then the top right. Now, we need to stretch these slices. So you can see inside of our draw sprite part ext, we have an x scale and a y scale. And the x scale and the y scale we're actually going to be stretching these based on what part. So, for example, the top middle piece, this piece needs to be stretched across the width of the middle of the, of the text box, in this case, what we're drawing for our nine slice. And so we're taking right here in the X scale, 
we're taking the width of the entire thing minus the slice, the slice width times 2. So this width includes the slice on the left and the slice on the right as well. So if we subtract the slice width times 2, then we only get the width of the middle slice that we need. And then we, because this is a scale factor and not just a, a width value, we need to divide the entire thing by the slice width in order to get the scale, the number that we need that is the scale. And this is the same across the board. So on the middle middle one, we actually have to scale both the we have to scale the x scale and the y scale because that one's going to be scaled all the way across the board. Because of the scaling, uh, your sprite can't always have a lot of fancy designs on the edges and in the center here. Like if you wanted to put a dot here, that wouldn't work because it would actually stretch out the dot and scale it. But you can still do some really nice looking borders um, with this method. Okay, now we need to test it. So we're going to create a new object. And we're going to name this O underscore controller. We're going to create another object and name this O underscore text box. I'm going to add an event, add a create event. Inside here I'm going to say width is equal to random range 32 and uh, let's do 640. Height equals random range 32 320, 360. And I'm going to add another event, a draw event and inside of here we're going to call draw 9 slice we're going to pass in our sprite then we're going to pass in our x position and our y position for the first point then we're going to do x plus width y plus height for the second point and close out of this object come back to our controller object and add an event add a mouse event global global left pressed and we're just going to call instance create layer we'll do mouse x for the x position mouse y for the y position the layer name will be the instances layer and the object will be o underscore text box this is the one area that will be different for game maker studio 1.4 you will just call instance create and you won't need to pass in an instance layer. Open up your room, drag over your controller object into the room, run your game, and it looks like I have a typo. It says sprite not set, abort come back into your controller object actually come back into the text box object inside of here I just passed in sprite and what I should have passed in is s underscore text box because that's the sprite that we want to use we have to actually name it let's run the game again and there we go you can create these different sized boxes and the draw nine slice script will draw them correctly no matter what their width and height. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video was helpful to you, be sure and like, favorite, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.